This study came about as we wanted to better understand students' subjective experience and sense of belonging at Trent Durham. We wanted to find out student experiences of fitting in and being cared for by the institution, identity factors of university life that contribute to or hinder students' sense of belonging to Trent Durham, and examine students' desired changes. Welcome to Trent Durham Sob Stories. Hi there, my name is Fung. I'm today's host. On this first installment of our sense of belonging stories, our sob stories, we have our guest, Laura. Um, Laura, before we start, how would you like to identify? So yes, my name is Laura, and I am a mature fourth year student, um, and I identify as a white heterosexual cis female, and my pronouns are her and she. Okay, so right now we're just going into September, starting the new school year. What are you anticipating about this coming semester? So for me, a lot of my anticipation and a lot of my focus um, is around uh, what my professors are going to be like. Um, Have I met them before? Are they brand new to me? Uh, There's also a lot of anticipation around um, what the syllabi is what the syllabi are going to be looking like. Um, For me, that's where a lot of my focus is, is how I can uh, best prepare for my academic year. So um, I know that I, if I've had a professor before, um, that's usually really helpful for me uh, versus if I've had a new professor, um, then there's a lot of stress about how they're going to mark, um, what kind of assignments they're going to be giving. Uh, So again, I know it sounds a little... uh, Uh, academic where the focus is uh, but that's definitely uh, what I anticipate most about the start of the school year. Okay so you mentioned that you're a mature student do you think that this informs you being here back at school? Absolutely Um, so this is actually my third program that I am coming up on the completion of which is very exciting Uh, and so definitely being a mature student um, completely changes um, my focus, completely changes how I view being at school. Um, So as I had mentioned earlier, um, academics is very important to me and it's what I anticipate the most when I'm starting in school. And I feel like a lot of that stems from being a mature student. Uh, So there's different like aspects that play into that. Um, Being older, I have more focus I find on what I want to be doing with school. Um, I know when I started my first program I was 18 years old and I had no idea what I wanted to do. I just knew that I didn't want to be um, in my same city that I was (laughs) in and I wanted to be going to a new school and a new Mm -hmm. town and meeting new people. Uh, But when I got there I didn't have a passion for my program. Um, so now again, as I said, being older, I find that, um, I have more of that passion and I have more of that focus. Um, I also find that, uh, because I'm older, um, the previous, uh, support financially that I received from my parents, um, has dwindled. Uh, they were very happy to help and support with my first few programs. Um, so now because, um, this is like my money or, uh, my OSAP loans, um, that are going into the program, um, again, there's more of that focus and more of that, um, desire to do well academically. Um, so again, as I said, I, I find that I'm really here to, um, achieve my degree, um, and so, uh, doing well in school and um, doing well on assignments and getting grades um, that will help me to be able to stay into my program um, are really my main focus. And I really do find that a lot of that stems from being a mature student. Mm -hmm. Do you think that your experience of uh, like finding friends and finding groups within the school is different from when you were uh, an 18 year old first year student versus a mature fourth year student? Absolutely. Um, I think a lot of times when you're younger, 
I, I should say, sorry, for me when I was younger, a lot of it was more about trying to fit in and just trying to um, just find anyone that I could just have lunch with or just uh, go to a party with. Um, versus now I think as a mature student, I'm more seeking out individuals who have a similar interest to me or often I find I'm not even fully seeking out people. I'm more seeking out uh, program opportunities or uh, club opportunities or again, something that's gonna fit back into uh, the success of my degree or um, is going to support me academically. And then it's through that that I'm meeting people. So it's not that I'm not seeking people out, um, but again, mm. that priority is more academic for me. Okay. so. Overall, how do you think this fits back into your sense of belonging? So for me, my sense of belonging um, really is, again, just doing well academically um, because my goal is to um, achieve my degree and receive my degree. Um, doing well in school and so building a rapport with my professors um, making sure that I'm um, organized and um, pre-planning throughout the school year so that I can be successful academically then is what helps me to feel um, my biggest sense of belonging in school um, and feeling a sense of belonging at Trent Durham um, because that that's my reasoning for being there. Um, so if I'm if I'm not doing well academically, uh, then I find that I struggle more in the school setting and um, that can bring on anxiety um, and other stressors um, versus if I'm being organized and I'm doing well in school and I'm continuing my communication with professors, um, that then helps me to feel more comfortable and secure in the school setting. And so Laura, just to wrap it all up, what advice would you have for people who are like-minded, who have a similar school-based focus? So, um, not to sound like a parent, um, <laughs> but I think I would start with saying, you know, make sure you're going to class, make sure you're doing your assignments, doing your readings. Um, be organized silly little things like getting an agenda just really helps with all of that um, so those are definitely suggestions for individuals that yes academics is their number one um, in the same hand uh, I also think it's really important that um, people remember that even though you're there for the academics um, school especially Trent Durham has so much more to offer than just going to class. Um, there are so many clubs and different events that you can go to um, where you can meet some really amazing people and you can come across some amazing opportunities um, that can help you academically but also might provide you with things that you didn't realize that you wanted out of school. Okay, thank you so much for sharing with us um, and good luck to you and everyone else on this coming school year. Thank you. This has been Sob Stories. If Laura's sense of belonging spoke to you, check out Trent Durham's academic resources at trentu.ca forward slash academic skills. Check out other events from the weekly What's Happening newsletter sent to your Trent email. Our next episode will be out October 9th, where we will talk with Tori about mental health. Follow us on Instagram at Trent Durham Sobs or email us at trentdurhamsobs at gmail.com.